Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here for another Sample Saturday. Uh, yes, have I have quite a few even though this is a pretty small uh, little bag. We're going to start with the mask. If you haven't been watching lately, um, I have been trying out, trying to start a new mask sample every week and I've been using a mask oh, every other day or so and I've been changing up like purifying masks and like calming masks and all different types of masks trying to rotate and get rid of them because I I have a container full of masks and it's it's not a small container either anyway this one is the hello fab ginger and turmeric vitamin C jelly mask safe for sensitive skin and um, it doesn't really say what it's supposed to do I know ginger and turmeric are good for your skin this didn't really have a scent to it I don't really get any scent from it. It was fine. I don't really know if it did anything. I didn't feel like it did anything, but this is kind of like, you know, I'm trying to use up masks and this is a good one that's like a calming or, you know, a neutral mask so that I can use purifying on other days. Next up, I used a Clinique Moisture Surge and this is a different one. This was the overnight mask. And I've never tried an overnight mask before. I realized that all of the little sample tubes that I have now are all of the overnight masks. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start using it, try to use up some of them. It was nice. I don't feel like, I didn't like it as much as the regular Moisture Surge. I feel like this wasn't quite enough for my skin and it's it's the summer too. Like this is definitely one, I know sometimes overnight masks, they want you to layer. So you put on a moisturizer and then you put the overnight mask. That's definitely what I would do with this. And I have oily combo skin. It was fine. I didn't feel like it was detrimental or anything and it moisturized. It just, I don't know. I like a little bit more moisturization at night. Uh, I like something a little thicker and feels more emollient and that, that wasn't the case with that one, which makes sense because moisture surge is usually a gel uh, type mask or, or moisturizer. Next up we have from Lancer. This is the method polish. I really like this, uh, face scrub. This is similar, I feel like, to the Dr. Brandt and um, Kate Somerville's. Kate Somerville, there is an ingredient in there that makes my face uh, kind of burn, so I don't like that one. I pass those on now if I get them. But this one is um, same texture, but more similar to Dr. Brandt in that it doesn't have like those uh, chemical exfoliants in there, or at least the same type of chemical exfoliants that Kate Somerville does. So this is definitely one that I will keep an eye out for once I finish up all of my samples. And I seem to keep getting face scrub samples. So yeah, I liked it. Um, maybe would purchase it. Finishing up the um, week's samples, I have three samples here. I have Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli. This one was really interesting. I did like this. I don't think I would purchase a bottle of it, but I kind of liked it. It kind of had, it was light and it was kind of pleasant, but it also felt like almost like a hay note, which is sounds kind of weird, but like a dried type grass. It was very pleasant. Um, it's not something that I would buy and like wear on a regular basis because I'm very much more into sweet type of scents, but I do think this was a nice one. And if you want something that's just kind of like neutral, but a little unusual, I feel like that's a really good one. Then I got this one from The Seven Virtues. This is Vanilla Woods. I got two samples of this and I'm so happy because this is intoxicating. Oh my gosh. This lasted a really long time, which is unusual. I didn't, I used almost half of it. Like I don't use as much as other people. Like sometimes I've, I've been watching some spray routines and I'm like, wow, you spray you, at least three times as much perfume as I do. So no wonder perfumes last a lot longer on you than they do on me. Cause I don't put 30 sprays on. Um, I put about five, maybe, you know, five to seven. So, um, this one lasted a really long time. It smells so good. It's vanilla, but it's like uh, a boozy vanilla. So if you think of like Bee or Angel Share, I felt like this was in a similar vein. It's very good. It is definitely one that I'm putting on my wish list of a fragrance that I want to purchase. And then last is one that I thought I had a bottle of. And then I started inventorying my bottles and started looking back through email receipts. And I went, huh, 
Okay, now I remember I was thinking about buying it, but I bought something else instead. And I wish I had gotten this one. This is Burberry Her Blossom. This is definitely my favorite in the Burberry Her line. I own two others. I own Her and I own um, London Dream. And they're both okay. They're not ones that I love or anything. But this is the one that I liked the best because it's the like most fruity floral. I feel that's, I don't know, the other ones have other elements to them that I'm not as crazy about. So Burberry Her Blossom is definitely one that I enjoy as well. So I think three great fragrances this week, three that I would enjoy wearing. And um, even though only one of that, uh, one of them I won't purchase, but there's two that are definitely on my wish list. Let me know what you, what samples you have been trying. If there are any perfumes that you think I should try to get a sample of or other products. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.